Alrighty. Mindful Astrology by Monty Farber and Amy Cerner. Okay, so let me see if I can read my tiny ass writing. Finding peace and peace of mind according to your sun, moon, and rising sun. So there we go. That was actually good this time. <laughs> so, um, overall it is good for those who are wanting to expand into reading charts. Um, cause like there are a lot of books that either somewhat mention like the charts and housing and stuff and then like mainly focuses on like the, um, signs and lately I've been seeing uh, more books dealing with the charts and everything so and this is just um, another one to have a look at. Um, goes into each, um, like in their own section so like it's not all combined like the sun moon and rising sun aren't combined into like one type of thing um each gets their own thing <laughs> explanation so so you get um an introduction and then you get what is astrology and like how does it work and everything so you get a brief type of um step in um but to me like if you're reading this you're reading it in conjunction with other books that tell you what astrology is but she does give um you a bit of information there so and then um it's sun signs moon signs and then rising sun signs um and then it goes in under understanding your celestial trilogy so a little bit of information there um in each section so like in the contents um it goes it tells you what's in, in each but it's just basically sun and aries sun and taurus down the zodiac line and then it does the same thing for the moon and rising sun signs so like moon and aries moon and taurus and then aries rising taurus rising and so on so like you get a bit of information like how it works you get a little diagram like visual of like um the typical like chart you would see so and then you get um like an introduction to like the sun signs like um the qualities um so cardinal fixed my malleable so a bit of information there um so like sun and aries so you get information there love and relationships work and career wellness and mindfulness for aries wealth and success and so you get like say that kind of those categories for each sign um, moon signs, you get introduction, um, so like elements in the section, so it goes, um, through like the fire, water, earth signs there. Um, with the moon, it's a little, it's obviously a lot shorter, you get a page per, um, sign. So you just get a little information of where, where, um, how the moon is in each of those signs and then um with the rising signs you get like an introduction to the um what it what the rising signs is overall and then when it goes into the sign you get like two pages um you get roughly two pages for each sign so like physical appearance favorable personality traits adverse um personality traits and like the information so you get like the traits here and then um the other information um so so in the understanding section um she got she has like to iterate um and then she goes over the signs and then um like if your sun and rising are all the same zodiac um if they're all the same quality so like um cardinal fixed malleable 
or if they have the same element, ether, fire, so on. And so, and then she does a few other, if you're cardinal, um, no, if your um, trilogy is whatever. Um, she does a little bit of explaining there, so um, there's an introduction to where you could ex um, try and research if like all your sign, all of the signs are a certain element or whatever, you could expand further. She's just giving you an introduction, um, quick um, explanation of those. So um, that's cause for further research if you're wanting to know more, more about that. But it's a good book for um, trying to understand those three aspects of understanding yours or other people's charts. If, again, I've said this in a few astrology <laughs> books, if that's what you want to pursue, to focus on. I know I'm not going to focus on astrology, but it's at least I've learned a little bit um, of like the terminology and whatever. So, um, like if I want to know about this more in depth, I could easily go to somebody who does um, this for a living and I already have, oh, I, I recognize those terms and whatever. But yeah, mindful astrology, happy readings.